Hi, I'm Don Braid, political columnist with The Herald. Well, now we're into the reaction to Sandra Jackson's remarkable uh, step of reading into the legislature record very explicit things that have been said about her on social media and, and as she said, about many other politicians as well, by implication the Premier. She's now under protection uh, by the legislature's executive protection branch with these highly skilled team uh, that are trained uh, to protect, assess threats and protect the Premier and others. It's very rare, I, I've never heard of it before actually, uh, for an individual MLA to be under protection. Uh, uh, perhaps I've never heard of it because they just never told us because these things are very seldom revealed, but it is an unusual step for sure. The reaction has been ferocious and it has been in a sense international. Even the BBC ran a story about it and I think uh, the reason for all that, other MLAs including Deborah Drever have said much the same thing in the House, but they've never taken that step of reading the actual garbage into the record. Um, there's very strong views on all sides of this. Some people continue to think uh, it's okay to say a lot of extra stuff about female politicians and they just go ahead and do it and they don't say anything wrong with it. Although the argument in my view, the, the ethical argument has to be why would a, a female politician be subjected to more criticism because of her gender that men are not subjected to. But it actually is I think probably useful in the end because people are really getting, uh, getting their thoughts out about this and a lot of people who were generally speaking aware that this kind of thing goes on and women have to put up with it were shocked by the actual thing. And they didn't hear anything like what Sandra Jansen and other female politicians actually hear, because that couldn't be said in the legislature at all.